Hey guys, just a bit of a little bit of an update. Um, getting back to my normal way of doing things. Talk. I'm going to be talking a little bit about what I'm doing with my reborning. And something I ordered finally came today, or yesterday actually. And it's these two trays that uh, each one of them is able to dry all the parts for one doll when I'm painting. So their drying trays, the head can go here in the center part, and then the arms and legs are on the, on the sides. I thought that was really, really great. I love them because they can just fold up and store with the rest of my uh, crafting stuff whenever I'm not working on my rewarns. And the weather um, rain yesterday, rain today, probably rain tomorrow. So, no painting. But I am almost finished with. Miss Alana Michelle's sweater. The hood has been attached to the back. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm working on the sleeves now. And so by tomorrow I'll have that finished. I was gone all day today getting, uh, I went downtown to pay the post office box so I got it paid up for a whole year now, so I don't have to worry about it. But because I paid for a whole year uh, at one time, I didn't have the extra money to send off for another kit or um, to um, get another doll or any, or any new art supplies. I might go down to Five Below or... Dollar Tree, or maybe Dollar General, later on this week if the weather clears up and see what I can get um, within my budget, which is really tight this month, month to uh, continue my crafting. And... Another thing I'm planning on I'm planning on doing, I don't know if I'm going to manage it this month or next month, I'm getting another um, set of storage cube cabinets. Uh, I'm going to put one here in the dining room for my art supplies. Um, the one I'm looking at getting has got doors on it, so I can put the stuff in the in the bins and put it in a you know, put it in the storage cubes and then shut the door and it just looks like a nice little cabinet. And, uh, you know, out of sight, out of mind when I'm not working on things and it'll stay nice and organized. I'm uh, in the process of getting rid of all of my books that are not related to crafting or art or uh, beadwork, that kind of thing, or crochet, because... Really, I don't read that much anymore. And a lot of the books that I've got are just reference books that um, my life's taken a different direction. And I'm not doing a lot of researching and stuff anymore. And I'm not referring to those books anymore a lot. So maybe it's time they find somebody new to appreciate them. Because if something happens... And I end up having to move again, or um, I die or something. All of that's just going to end up getting thrown out anyway. Because it won't go with. But that's just normal life. Oh, the sweetest thing. When I was going downtown today, I had to take the bus downtown. And so when I went from the house to the bus stop, there was this beautiful chocolate brown 
Brindle. Um, I don't know if he was a, a bulldog or a mastiff type. He had that kind of a build, and he was short, like if if he was a pit bull, but um, beautiful, beautiful dog, and just as friendly as he could be, and a uh, black and gray brindle dog that. Um, Looked to be more of a hunter, uh, a setter, or, or a pointer, but he was a brindle coloring. Um, and and the, the black one barked at me, and I said, hello, baby. And about that time, the chocolate one come up, and they just wanted all kinds of loving. And then they escorted me up to the bus stop. And then when I came home and got off the bus and started back toward the house, there they were waiting for me just as I got around the corner and followed me all the way home. And the brown one, I swear, it absolutely uh, has adopted me and tried so hard to get in the house. And poor mischief, my little dachshund, was just having a fit because he wanted to get into a fight with his brown dog. And we wouldn't let him, and we wouldn't let him get out. And the brown dog kept jumping up on the door, the screen door, trying to get in because he wanted to come in and be with us. It was just, just so precious and so sweet. But my mischief, laying on the floor beside me, being a good boy, he's been just so sweet. And so we ordered pizza since it was the first of the month, and I had money to play with. Got pizza for lunch and uh, got mischief some um, the bacon and tomato and cheese on top of chicken nuggets. And the three of us split that, plus we had the pizzas, and he got his pizza bites too. So he's a really happy dog because he got his treat. It's only once a month we do this, so he doesn't get too much of it, and, it's, and I try not to give him spicy foods very, very often anyway. But he does like pizza, and he does like those chicken nuggets. So that's it. The, the one thing for him and us for the, for the month was our special thing to do. And, uh, well, yeah, we're fixing to get another round of rain in. And my phone, bless its darling little heart, the battery overheated on it while I was running around downtown, evidently. I got home, went to pull it out and uh, get back to the game I'd been playing whenever it decided to fruit out on me. And lo and behold, it had overheated, so I turned it off and let it cool off, and then I to put it on the charger. And then when I turned it back on, it had scrambled its brains and just it didn't have any memory. It was like, it was, hi, can I get you set up on what you, can I set up your account? I'm like, huh? So I had to have Patrick help me get my phone back in, to remembering and getting back in my account back. And when I finally got my account back on the phone, then it had to spend about three hours uh, backing up the uh, apps that was loaded onto it before so I could uh, actually uh, you know, I could do what I was doing with it before. So, yeah. It was kind of an interesting day. Well, I'm running on 10 minutes now, so I better get off of here. But, um, yeah, the kids are in, in, in their room asleep. And, oh, you want to see? Of course, you haven't been, I haven't been in the nursery for a while, so. And it's not, nothing has changed, but they're in there asleep. And uh, we didn't like it too much last night because we had a, tornado come through about midnight and so I could just imagine my babies were crying there's Robert Stephan and Miss Alana Michelle 
and there's Wanda the Sloth and Miss Tink and all their toys. And um, but yeah, we had a tornado come through about midnight last night, and kind of couldn't get any sleep for a long, long time because of the storms, and we had the power flickered on and off about five or six times during the worst part of it. So weather in Tulsa is kind of unsettled right now. But if you watched so f this far, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you. If it's your first time, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment to let me know if you came by, if you really liked what you saw. And I'll talk to you later. My email, my mailing address, and my Patreon page are all in the description below. And y'all have a blessed day now. Bye-bye.